Right, so here are three of my favorite mid-back stretches. First one I call the zombie. And for this, you're gonna stand up nice and tall. You're gonna throw those knees forward as you throw those arms and you're gonna make a C shape. From here, you're just gonna curl all the way up, nice and slow, and as you do so, you're just gonna press that chest up forwards and a gentle arch through the back. Let's do that again. Gonna those knees are gonna come forwards, the arms are gonna come out a bit like you're a zombie, curl through that back, but like you're tucking that bum under as well. Then you're gonna curl up nice and slow and just arch through the chest ever so slightly. So we've had a little bit of a stretch forwards and backwards. We're now gonna take it into a side stretch. So we're gonna take the arm all the way up above the head. We're gonna grab hold of our arm just by our wrist. We wanna pull it up first and then we're gonna stretch over. So try and keep your hips where they are and you should feel a nice stretch through this area. Hold this here. Take a deep breath in, come all the way up. Let's change over, grab hold of the wrist, pull it up nice and tall first before you then lean over. So this is less about trying to crunch down or lean to the side as much as you can. And this is more of a stretch, like a diagonal stretch up. Breathe in, come all the way up and last stretch. You're gonna take those feet so that they're just slightly wider than hip width apart. You're gonna place the hands on the outside. You're gonna round through that back and you're gonna pull those knees apart ever so slightly. And I just feel like it really feels good. Good, come up nice and slow. And just so that we are nice and balanced, we're gonna switch those arms over. So change which one's on top and do the same again. So in this position, I'm arching through the back. I'm pulling those knees apart. Shoulders and arms aren't really doing anything apart from just going with the flow. Good, relax, come up nice and slow and give everything a little bit of a wriggle.